Good morning, YouTube. Well, she's still at it. Talking about Kim Burrell. All right, so I saw this article. I saw it in the last week, uh, Friday or something like that. And I said, well, I'll get to it Saturday. Well, I got sick Sunday, so. Anyway, so now it's Tuesday. And I don't want the story to get stale before I comment on it. So, Kim Burrell has made an interview after the, the fiasco two weeks ago, three weeks ago. So now she's saying she's sticking to her guns and she ain't got nothing to apologize for. She's a hard-headed woman. I don't know how you're going to break this nut. Let me play a little bit what she said. So you won't think I'm bullying her or picking on her or nothing like that. Here we go. To be defended. The truth doesn't need to be defended. People took that the wrong way. Well, why she won't apologize? Oh. Tell why, because the truth doesn't need to be defended. Okay, if, if I were to apologize, I need to know, but for what? I would mm -hmm. want people to put that. Type what you think my words would be to apologize to, mm. for, how, how come. What would the apology consist of? of what, what, what is the need for an apology? The word of God was given. I think people think, I think people took it personally. Mm. Because it came out of the mouth of a person, mm. which which is proof to me that people are not connected to a lot of things that are spiritual. Because God would use a donkey if he wants. Bitch, to you are a donkey. And um, oh. <laughs> and devil use donkeys too. How I said it, but what they don't understand is I would I wouldn't apologize for that either because the Bible. Uh 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 um. Uh 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 uh. uh tongue tied. Gave me my right to say how I said it. Mm -hmm. What do you mean the Bible did? The Bible told me cry loud and spare not. Mm -hmm. Lift up my voice like a trumpet in Zion. Show my people their, their transgressions mm -hmm. and the house of Jacob their sins. So in order for me to do that, um, you know, for people, you know, I, I heard a message many years ago. This preacher said, sometimes children don't react until their One moment, parents get I promise. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you don't react until something is done forcefully. The mother will go to the, to the screen door. Y'all come in. It's time to eat dinner. Mm -hmm. They still keep playing. You go back the second time. Did y'all hear me? Y'all, put your toys up. It's time to come on in. It's still out there. Once she opens that door and says, get in here, mm. is when they move. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you don't get the attention until you're spoken to in a certain kind of way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bitch, you got some nerve. All right, Kim Burrell. So she thinks she is the mother of the homosexual world. And she is going to speak a word. And we're going to all run into the house because she spoke it. This woman is so damn delusional. So stick by this bullshit. Kim Burrell... Leave this bullshit alone. What is your goddamn problem? I don't understand. What is your, What do you think is the payoff? Is, you, are, is she so delusional that she believes that somebody's going to stop being a homosexual because she opened her fat ass mouth and, and, and girl, I'm not a child. I don't need to be called in. The, 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 issue, the issue is that young people who, 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 would, who would be exposed to you are hurt by you. I think that's the issue. You, you're not, you're not, uh, they're not, they're, they're not doing what you say because you said it. They don't give a damn about you. What they're doing is you're, you're harming them because you're making, you're still separating them out like they are less than human beings. Like they are some kind of uh, an anomaly in the earth. Because you don't understand what a homosexual is. Shut up about it. Just don't say shit about it, girl. Because you know, I'm sure you heard the same argument over and over and over again. We've got to keep saying the same argument until you guys get it. Over 600 laws in the book of Leviticus. What makes you think you have the nerves? What makes you think that that one particular law is something that needs to be preached about over and over and over and over and over and over and over again? Why aren't you concentrating on the dietary laws? Why aren't you trying to figure out why some of our people, black people, are some of the biggest motherfuckers on earth. What You preach from the dietary laws, something you know about, eating. Everybody's not going to have the money to go and get the fat, fat cut out of their ass. Some of us are going to have to learn how to have a healthy diet. Why don't you work on that? You concentrate on that, something that affects you, something you're going to struggle with. Because from what I understand, even when you had them surgeries, you still got to have some discipline. That'd be something for you to work on, honey. Work on something that affects you. Something's got something to do with you and your dysfunction. Couldn't believe it. So I went on there and she would still be persistent in this bullshit. Two hours, she ran her mouth. 
All right, let me see. Let me try to focus up. Okay, so we're not, you're not our mother, Kim Morrell. We don't need your help. I'm trying to figure out what do you, what is the payoff for you to, to keep up this argument and come over here and try to pick on whoever you think you, you, you can pick on? What is the payoff? Is God going to sit up in heaven? Oh, the pearly gates, so beautiful. God going to sit up in heaven? Oh, Kim Morrell, you did such a good job at telling those homosexuals they're going to hell. You did a good job of that. I'm going to give you an extra, uh, extra castle. How would you like that? Is that what it's going to be? You get certain brownie points? Oh, I'm so pleased with you. Well, good good and well, good job, uh, my good and faithful servant. Oh, you have really talked about them people making them feel like shit. Oh, there's some suicides involved, but that's just the, car that's just the price of the carnage. Girl, I don't know how you justify in your mind your this kind of behavior. You're persistent in it. So I got to say it. I would hope again that this is you. You, you fail. You're gonna end up not even having money to pay your rent because you you are persistent. You you won't stop. You know that woman's show is being recorded. You so uh, somehow your mind works like Donald Trump's mind. Your mind. Donald Trump said, "Well, there's more white people than there are uh, all the other minorities put together." So that's all he worked on, honey. And he said, "Okay, I don't got to worry about them other ones. All the minorities. I ain't got to be thinking about them." There are more white people. If I can just get the uh, get mostly with him is poor white people. If I can just get that vote, I can win the White House. That's what you think. You think you can go? Stop, boy, stop. You think you can go play to these people's bigotry and their hatred? You won't need the homosexual. You don't. You ain't worried about the online thing. You ain't, you're not worried about what goes on TV. You don't give you give a damn because the newscaster was all over your house about this, this thing, this fiasco last three weeks. You feel like you don't need them. But, <laughs> you're going to see, girl, they're going to tear your ass up, Miss Kimberell. And they're going to they gonna have to, you just like Nina Bryant. They had to, they had to keep pounding on that woman until she, her husband left and she had to leave town. Because she wouldn't stop. Lost her orange juice contract. Nobody, no, no, bitch. No, no. <laughs> We have to communicate with the whole country, not just your, your little religious group. You make my dog pissed off. All right, so she's persistent in this. I didn't watch all of it. I didn't want to hear all that shit. But uh, I just wish you the worst of luck, Kim Burrell. You're just an awful person. You're just an awful person. In that interview, you talked about what a, a terrible person you were for God saved you. You're still a terrible person. What happens to young bullies? They become old bullies. That's all it is, girl. You just want to pick on somebody. You know, guy. You know, the great thing is going to happen with, with this whole uh, uh, LGBT movement, and I consider it a movement, just for, just for to be treated like human beings, just to be treated like people, acknowledged as people. That's all we really want. That's why ma gay marriage was, was, was just a big deal. We just want you to acknowledge that we are able to love each other, acknowledge the relationship. Oh, I got some bad news for you, uh, Kim Burrell. Since gay marriage passed, the suicide rate among gay teenagers and went it went down 16%. So I know that's horrible news for you. You would rather they all kill themselves. It went down just by acknowledging people. But you consider that bad news. So you feel like you can just go in there and this little old ragged ass church you got it wherever the hell it is in Texas some damn where what which shouldn't be that surprise to you in Texas. <laughs> I don't know what to say about this woman. I guess I should just go on there and just uh, listen to more of this. You guys, uh, if you're interested, the show is called Jerry P. Beasley. It was recorded on the 21st, 20, 21st February, so a week ago. You guys tell me what you think. I mean, which is, is, this, is this how you would handle it? I mean, leave, losing TV, I know Ellen just one show, but Apparently they they canceled award shows and they ain't gonna have you involved in the Grammys. You can believe, <laughs> honey, you got dreams of having a Grammy. You <laughs> kiss that goodbye. You just kiss that goodbye by dragging your fat ass back on this thing. And you, I mean, for me, you always be a fat bitch. So I'm not changing my language about you. I don't care how much you lose. But they, you never get a Grammy. Ain't no way in hell them people gonna put up with you coming up there and accepting shit from the Grammy Awards. So if that's your dream, forget it. Get another one.
Only people that still messing with you, I, I imagine, would be BET because apparently they don't have no problem with, with promoting your bigotry. Apparently, I mean, they let you keep coming on there. But we'll see. If they do the right thing, I have all respect for them. Anybody who's willing to step up and do the right thing concerning this woman, I have the greatest respect for them. You're a bad person, Kimberly. You're just, you're just an evil person. When you are able to get up there and, and laugh at these people at, at that Sunday best thing, and apparently you've done it more than once, when you able to laugh at people like that, that's, how did, that speaks to your character. Your character. You're an evil, evil bitch. You know, that's like in your morality where you seem to think that you got to say something from the book of Leviticus about homosexuals, which doesn't make any damn sense. But, so if you saw a person on the street, let's just make them gay, whatever. Person being terrorized. Let's say some bullies are driving by and, and beating the person in the head. What do you do? You go out there and throw a brick at them too? That's the kind of morality you got, girl. You, you're just a big, you're just, you're just a bully. Christ said, let who, who, he who was without sin throw the first stone. And they was there, they were there, remember they were stoning her when, when he came across her. That was their thing, was stoning people, killing people with rocks, humiliating them as they're killing them. You would be in that crowd. <laughs> and bitch, you get nothing for it. What do you get for it? Nothing. Nothing. And, and, and when the gays really get together and start leaving these damn churches, you ain't even going to have an a, a, a audience in your damn church because there might be straight men in your church. <laughs> Honey, church is full of women and a whole lot sensitive men. <laughs> they going to hate me for that. I know I'm going to get my ass in trouble. I'll be shut up. But there, I just don't see the straight men are involved in church like that. I really don't. So the very ones you're picking on, that you're terrorizing. I heard about that marriage of yours. Girl, take off the blinders, Kimberell, and sit your motherfucking ass down. Sit down some damn way, girl. Just shut up. You're supposed to be a preacher. If you're so into that Bible, I mean, that's your other thing. And I ain't got no problem with pre women preachers. My pastor's a woman preacher. I don't have no problem with it at all. But for you, who's supposed to be so religious and what, what God told you. What, what did Paul tell you about you? What did the New Testament say about the role of women? You, <laughs> shouldn't you have your, shouldn't you be ever, <laughs> shouldn't you be telling your husband, which you don't have one, telling your husband to come out there and address the people? You're not even supposed to talk. Definitely not supposed to talk in the, in the pulpit. How you justify that? Girl, you just justify whatever, you're just an evil person. That's what the problem is. You're an evil person. You don't have compassion for other people. You don't see anyone else's plight. And you should not be calling yourself a, a pastor. That's what that drives me nuts about religion. That's what because you're supposed to be leaders. Barack Obama, that was a leader. You ain't gonna see Barack Obama coming out there and just demonizing and terrorizing a group, a small group of people in, in the crowd. You have to do that. That's a man. Shut up. Excuse me, I had to talk roughly. I had to sin talking roughly with my dog. Kim Burrell said that's, a, that's the only way I can talk to him. I can't be sweet and good. Anyway, what was I talking about? Okay, you don't accept none of them laws. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to go into this anymore. I know this is going forever. I, I, I feel my, my pressure starting to rise. As I think I'm going to blame you for everything about the, the, the black church. And, and they're, they're not all guilty. A lot of it is, but it's because the people in leadership could persist in this bullshit. You want to be respected as a leader, a leader of somebody? Uh-uh. Your Bible telling you, okay, it's right to go out there and attack these other people. You know, the Bible always had somebody was always the enemy, the Amorites and the termite bites and all these people. They're always the enemy. Well, my question has always been, well, who, what, what isn't it one God? I mean, Canaanites, I mean, isn't it, isn't there just one God? The Jews wrote the book. So you think if the Canaanites, people in, in, from Canaan, if they would have wrote the book, they would have had the Jews being the chosen people of God? What if the black people wrote the Bible? Well, they were the one populating the earth, or those were the ones who, who were literate at the time. Do you think, really think, that they wouldn't have had the black people being the chosen people of God? Girl, it's only going to reflect that culture, whoever, 
whoever put pen to paper. So you're not Jewish. So your, your, your argument is that you're, you're a Jew. Orthodox Jew. You're not an Orthodox Jew. You're supposed to call yourself a Christian. Now, is this the Christ, the, the ministry of Christ? Did Christ stop the people from throwing stones and say you just as sinful as she is? They got to put their rocks down because they're all clothed in sin. Oh, girl. Anyway, at least you didn't get me out to bed. I was going to lay down and rest my nerve. Watch the other demon, Donald Trump. All right, so you, you guys can feel free to tell me. I mean, you you go and look at it. It's called the Jerry P. Beasley uh, Show uh, interview. Two hours. Lord, have mercy. You can, if you want to skip all the bullshit, get the 52, and you'll see the real Kim Burrell. That career needs to end. She is not finished. She's going to be persistent. Now, she needs to be stacking up them coins because we all know that them voices start going, honey. She start getting around 50. She's 40-something years old. That voice is going. So she needs to be trying to straighten her life up and get it together and keep a few fools in that church so they can pay, pay her mortgage. She's going to be in big trouble. This ain't the right time for her to be uh, making a whole world of enemies. All right, the hell with you, Kim Burrell. Uh, 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 you knew it was happening. See, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. You, you're, just a, you're just a nasty, nasty woman. You know that woman's thing was being recorded. You knew it, and you still persisted. What do you think is going to happen from it? Is anybody going to change from being a homo? Girl, it, if it, if you could find one person, <laughs> I guess you you must be preaching to that one person somewhere in the world. Somebody, uh, somebody like Andrew. I, I say the name, Andrew Caldwell. You can find somebody like that. He That boy's still running around two years later talking about, hey, he delivered. Oh, I, I, I like women's women. All that. I'm not making fun of him. I'm just saying that that is the only type of person you're going to catch. If somebody like that who is confused and needs some help, needs a little more time to grow up, and you turn on him, <laughs> he's doing what you wanted. That's what you wanted. People go around talking, they delivered. That's what you wanted, right? So he's doing it, and so you turn on him. So I'm not, I'm not down in your end room. I said, uh, misspoke. I apologize. That's not where I'm going with that. But I'm saying the average person, all you're going to do is cause discord between people. Nobody's changing their sexuality because uh, what Kim Burrell said. That ain't gonna happen. You will lock up some people, some confused people, people who are struggling, and you will cause them to struggle even more for a longer period of time, trying to be something you told them they're supposed to be. Let it go, Cambrell. Get on something else. Get on those dietary laws. Try to help your people. We need people to get our asses smaller, honey. We ain't, we ain't all got the money to go cutting on our bodies. And even the ones who do, people can die from that. So we gotta do it naturally. There's an assignment for you. Worry about the fat back, girl. That's it. I'm through.